Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. English 8 video lesson. Teacher Crystal is back. Hello there, my dear learners. So we are back again for another video lesson, and this time we'll talk about bias in writing. The most essential learning competency of this video lesson class is examine biases for or against made by the author. So at the end of this video lesson class, you are expected to define what bias in writing is, identify words and phrases that show bias in a text, determine the stand or issue of the author in a text, and recognize the importance of being unbiased in a text. Well, I know you're excited, but before we begin, let's have a quick review on our previous lesson. So last time we've talked about parallelism and we have learned that parallelism is the use of the same pattern of words in order to add symmetry or balance in sentences. And we've also learned that we can use parallelism in single words such as noun, adjective, adverb, verb, gerund, and infinitive. And because of that, I believe we can now proceed with our new lesson. Okay, so let's take a look at this image here. So yeah, that's me. So what I am trying to tell here is I prefer GMA than ABS-CBN. So it means that I can be biased for GMA and biased against ABS-CBN. Also, I remember one time my sister asked me, who is my bias in Blackpink, a girl group in Korea. So instead of her asking me who is my favorite among them, she asked me who is my bias. So just like us, authors also has bias in writing. So what is bias in writing? Bias in writing class is when an author uses a selection of facts, choice of words, and the quality and tone of description to convey a particular feeling or attitude. Its purpose is to convey a certain attitude or point of view toward the subject. So there are different ways to recognize bias in a text. First is look for loaded words. So words that are charged with emotion whether positive or negative can reveal an author's opinion about his or her topic. Second is watch out for stereotypes. Stereotypes is if the author labels an entire group, the writing is probably biased. Third is notice vague language. So vague means unclear, not specific. So if the author isn't using specific language, 
this could be an indicator of bias. Fourth is be on the lookout for one-sided arguments. If the author only presents one side of an argument, his or her writing is probably biased. The last one is, does the author present facts or opinions? Facts are what they are, the truth. But opinions can be based on feelings, emotions, or prejudices, which aren't objective. Okay, so let's have an example here. So let's read. When I met with Mayor Giovelli, I noticed that he had the appearance of a hobo. He was unshaved and wearing dirty clothes. He spoke to me about his horrible plan to fix our city's roads. Anyone who knows the plan will tell you that it will bankrupt our city. The plan to fix our roads mostly benefits friends of the mayor. He plans to pay his buddies in the construction business thousands of dollars over the next two years. I do not want to insult anyone, but the mayor is of Italian descent and we all know what reputation they have in this part of the country. Did I remind you of Al Capone and other Italian mafia members? So first is, when I met with Mayor Giovelli, I noticed that he had the appearance of a hobo. So hobo means a person that has no place to live, no money, and travels different places. So it looks like this. So imagine comparing a mayor to a hobo. It's a loaded, negatively charged word. So it's bias. Okay, so let's have an activity. You have to determine whether the text is biased or unbiased. So I'll give you one minute to answer. Okay, let's check your answers. So for A, it's bias because it is an opinion. And for B, it's still bias because it is a form of stereotyping. Okay, so let's summarize the lesson class. So again, what is bias? Very good. So bias, it's either prejudice or favoritism. Prejudice against something an author is writing about or favoritism for something an author is writing about and there are different ways to recognize bias in a text first one is look for loaded words second watch out for stereotypes third notice vague language or generalizations fourth does the author present facts or opinions and last one is be on the lookout for one-sided arguments and for your quiz class you will be answering this again through Google Forms just like the last time so this is the instructions and for your assignment have to search for one text that shows bias and discuss what makes it biased and you have to submit that on the next day of retrieval.